So I'm trying to figure out, Shein, is what the fuck is this? This is not my face. What the fuck is this? So this is the original photo that I took. So why? Why, Shein? Why? Do me a favor and remove the fucking photo. But it's new now. Like, like I just feel so much better with my life. Cross the street then. Oh, they cute though. Hold hands, young, and then left. They took the picture, my original picture, and morphed me into a Caucasian woman. All right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm actually on my way. Well, I'm in Connecticut right now, but in the Greenwich area, there's always like traffic on this place. You know what I notice about this area, tri state area, especially on the highways? Everyone cluster drives on these highways, so it'll literally be everyone in the three lanes, but there'll be like drivers that are driving at the same speed and stacked up together, so it kind of blocks traffic. And literally right ahead of them, it's an open road. And it's kind of like, I, like I'm like i a very aware driver of my surroundings and stuff like that when I drive. I feel like people out here just think like, I just, I'm just i just driving in my space. There's a thousand other cars behind you. Why don't you move over to a lane, the first lane preferably, if you're all driving at the same speed, the three of you need to all shift to that first lane and drive behind one another. But instead out here, they feel like they own the road, so they're gonna stay in that third lane even though they're driving 25 miles per hour. They are committed to staying in, the, in that third lane to prove a point to everybody, which I don't know what prove, point they're proving, but they'll sit in that lane at 25 miles per hour on a fucking 65 mile per hour highway and stay in that third lane and have everyone behind them suffer. And they cluster drive in this area, so literally, you'll see three people driving literally side by side while the front of them is empty roadway. Like, y'all, y'all don't understand how that pisses me off about this area. Anyways, I, was, I had a whole attitude this entire time I was driving, but I'm all right now. I've made it to Connecticut, but like I said, in this area, it gets a little bit janky. I'm actually going to go pick Dan up, and then I'm going to head to Primark, because I want to... I'm leaving next week. I'm packing this weekend, so this weekend, you will be packing together. So I need to make sure that I have what I need. Um, I'm actually going to clean the house up this week, too, make sure I clean everything up, not dirty anything, because I like to come back home to a clean house and just be organized and stuff like that. So I'm going to take care of that this weekend, because next weekend, I have a very busy weekend, starting on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm busy and I leave on Sunday. So I only have what, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get like my content and stuff done and handled with. So it's pretty slow guys. So this vlog will definitely go up on time. The vlog that I was supposed to go up yesterday, the computer played the Hello Kitty out of me. <laughs> Whatever. So I ended up just putting it up today. So it's scheduled for today at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which will premiere together. It's a 40 minute long vlog. It's a good vlog, guys. I actually finished filming the Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video. I don't know if I mentioned that already. But the Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video will be up uh, tomorrow or Sunday. So it worked out. You know, I'm not stressing. Didn't stress at all. I'm just like, whatever. So I'm on my way now to go get Dan. I'll probably see Dar later in the evening. My mom's making food. I just realized, happy Good Friday to everyone. Easter's on Sunday, so happy Easter. So I guess I will put the Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video up tomorrow because no one's gonna watch it on Sunday since it's Easter. So I'll put it up tomorrow. Hopefully you guys come and watch it. Same time, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, even though it's a Saturday. I might actually push it up to eight o'clock, so we shall see about that. But today is a pretty solid day. It's gloomy outside, but the weather's 60, so it is what it is. I have the cute sweater on from Lulu's. Love this sweater. It's like a shrug. Like, not a, it's not a cardigan. It's like a shrug. It has no buttons. But I think I want to put some real buttons in it so that I can close it up. And I just kind of went with, like, a really natural look. No, I didn't really do, I didn't do my brows. I just put the um, brow gel on them to freeze them up. I did some blush, a little bit of lips, and that's it. So no shadow, no nothing. And I think it looks cute, looks natural. And I put my Louis on today because I figured I'm doing the bun. The outfit is really cute, but it's like kind of like mid. So let me just add like a little, you know, earrings on, hoop earrings. So I put the Louis Vuittons on today. I know it's a little bit, ah, it's a lot going, it's a lot of jewels going on, but it's still cute or whatever. So yeah, hopefully Primer got some of my favorite nails because I'm still trying to decide which nails I'm gonna do. All right, you guys know we're in Danbury, Connecticut. Primer. These pants are nice too. Yeah. Oh, you don't like these cool out pants? I do like them. These are really um, 
I'm too lazy to try. Oh my god, I love the slides on the mannequin. Look at the slides on the mannequin. They got cute sandals too, then. Okay. Like, um, probably a little box. It's cute though, right? Yeah. I like the nude one better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the nude one looks way better. I love this, but I don't got no nude. Look at these. Oh, those are culotti. Mm -mm. Nice. That is. Oh, I like these little braces right here. How about these? I like the orange ones. Yeah. Let me see what these are working on. <laughs> Why are they silly? What do you think? Okay. Oh, these are ugly. Yeah. Look at those. Oh, damn, these are cute. All right, guys, found some sandals. These are perfect. And the strapping ain't too crazy on it. I think we get these. That's your size. Size eight. Wow. Look at good fit. Mm -hmm. Let me get these. They have these black ones if you want. Where's the shoes you just? I have no right here. Oh no. Oh the new. Oh no, that's not the one I got. That was the last one. Oh, these are chunky. Oh. I might have a whole. I might have two of them. Should I get blue or should I get blue? Blue? Let me try the blue. This this is a nice comfortable shoe. You need colors? I'm, I would get the blue one. You wouldn't get the gold one? I need the gold one too. No, I don't think I'm gonna wear gold one. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about myself. Oh no, you, yeah. I, need, I think I need both. I'm gonna get this. The blue ones are... Yeah, and it's a nice small heel too. It's not no crazy bad wear. Guys, I picked up this pink bag for my for a quick little look while we're out there on our trip. Let me see. I need belt too. And a jewelry. Like people are too busy snatching rings off of you. What? All right. This is so cute. Okay, the blazer is giving. Let me grab this. This looks so cute. No, this is a different type. No, this is a different type of hat though. This one might fit nice. Grab it. Try it. It's a little big, but you gotta like tight. How is it? It looks good. Is it is it a good fit? I don't know. 
God. There has to be feeling. All right, guys, so I'm cleaning brushes today. I have that product that's linked in my Amazon storefront in here. Obviously, this is a dish that I use to bleach hair. So I'm going to go ahead. I have new beauty blenders, but this product actually works on beauty blenders as well. So I'm going to clean the beauty. I'm going to start with the brushes first, the small brushes, and then start with these just because these will suck up all the product. But you're only supposed to drop it in a little bit and then kind of like squeeze. So I'm going to do the small brushes first. And if I don't have any more, because I don't have any more of this product, I'm just going to order some more and then clean the rest of the brushes tomorrow. Because it takes like a day to come in through Amazon Prime. So, I'm just going to try to, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to toss these two. I just bought two new beauty blenders. I don't need those. I have these for a while. So, I'm going to uh, throw these two out and then I'm just going to clean these brushes and then just open the new pack of beauty blenders that I got at, um, at a Primark. Just because it just makes sense. So, and anyways, I use... I only use two beauty blenders, like one for powder, which I I'm going to clean this one because I really like this one. Look at me. I'm so indecisive, but I'm going to throw these Real Technique ones out because I've had them for a while and it's just time to get up, get done with it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these brushes and I'll be done. All right, guys, so I finished the brushes. I got my rolling card. I was actually working on the stuff here. Um, I wish I could find the caps for my Milk Cosmetics um, blush thing, but I've lost the top to this one along with the concealer that's right there. Both of these are from Milk. I uh, just try to organize everything as far as the products that I use for my looks. And then these are the beauty blenders I got at Primark, two for uh, 250 I like the beauty blenders that have to have the flat bottom like this one right here because it's easier to use that one to get the, con the setting powder under your eyes. And yeah, and then I was also looking at the nails for my up and coming trip. I think I'm going to install these glazed milky press-ons from Salon, per um, was it Salon Perfect. These are really cute. You guys can see that pearl eyes like look look at that milky look and then i believe it was eunice hair company or one of the hair companies said this one to me and this set is off the hook so um i usually bring two sets of nails just because when i'm doing excursions stuff like that i'm really out and about in the water and stuff it kind of loosens the glue sometimes so i like to bring a backup set just in case so i think i'm gonna install probably these mm. nah i'm not gonna wear these yet I i'm I should actually, you know what, I'm not going to wear these yet because I'm going to wear these to the wedding. I feel like these would be really nice nails for the wedding. Like just a little added jewel on top of it and it's like a nice French. So I'm going to save these nails right here for the wedding and I'm going to wear these. And I'm also going to bring, let's see what other set. I'm going to bring this set right here, uh, which is the Tip Beauty one. This is like an ombre effect, kind of similar to what I have on my nails now. But I think that these two will go well together. Um... So I think I'm going to do this. I love doing a set like that, but I think I'm probably going to install these first. So I'm going to install these first and then bring this as a backup set. And these I'm going to wear to the wedding next month because I think that these will look stunning for the wedding. Yep. I want to start off by saying shout out to all you guys for the chit chat. Get ready with me. Love. I'm going to do the part two next week before I leave on my trip. I've been busy today editing, guys. <laughs> I've been on a roll. But I'm about to head to the rooftop just to have a chill out time. I made myself a little margarita. So, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Get out of here, guys. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm telling you, they be slaughtering a goat in there. Like, I'm just trying to go to the rooftop and have a good night. All right, y'all had to scan the scene to make sure nobody was out here because, you know, it'd be unsavory characters out here unless they're on the other side of the building. But I didn't go that way. I feel like somebody's sitting in the hallway. Nah, I'm paranoid, but still. So I'm out here on the rooftop to have a little. Drink it, drink, drink, and then I'm gonna head off to bed after, guys. Cause I'm tired. I'm not. I'm not all the way tired, but you know what I mean. But here's my view. So pretty out here. This is one thing I'm gonna miss. But I had such a great time. It was a great experience.
right, y'all. So the first batch of clothes is basically done. So basically today I'm literally just cleaning up the house. I got a PR package today from Jerry She, and I'm going to do a haul. I don't know why that water is still making that noise. I thought I'd turn the shower off, but I got to hit the nozzle a little bit. So they sent me some clothes. So I'm going to do a cute little try and haul. I'm going to actually wear it with the blonde wig. I'm This is my summer wig, y'all, so I had to pop her out. I already pre-washed her and set her up, so I just have to install her um, for this try. Now, I feel like the blonde will look fire with these looks. I pretty much tried everything on um, and make cute little outfits or whatever. So I got this today, so I'm just preparing everything now, but I'm going to film this tomorrow. I know it's like scattered on top of my table, but I just wanted to make sure I looked at everything, tried it on to see what things look like. So I got that set. But today I'm actually going to film two hair videos. So I'm going to do that once I'm done, like, getting my bedroom together. So it looks um, uh, But just give me a second. Um, I'm going to put the uh, clean sheets on there. Spray everything. I'm just sweeping the floor right now. I'm about to just hit it with the Swiffer. And then, yeah. So that's basically what I'm doing today. Just cleaning up my house, my space. I cleaned up yesterday. But I just want to get everything ready before I start packing tonight, which is another task. That's why... I'm not going to do the try and haul today. I'm going to film the quick hair videos. They're glueless. One's glueless and one's not, but it's pretty easy. So I'm going to film those two hair videos, and then I'm going to um, start packing my bag because, let me show y'all, just so y'all know that I'm seriously doing this today. So I already have the drawers pulled out, and this is the clothes that I'm going to bring with me. So... Um, I have my shoes already laid out here and this is a pile of clothes But obviously I have other things I have to bring like shorts and stuff like that So I washed some of the items so I'm just waiting to get those done and washed and then I'm gonna start bagging And yeah, I'm checking it back anyway So I'm just gonna bring my bigger suitcase instead of bringing the small one. It just makes sense since I'm checking it in anyway, so um, And obviously I'll bring my book bag so the stuff that if I lose this I'll just have to buy new clothes, but I'll have my like jewelry and my devices with me, so <sighs> That's what we're doing today.
All right, guys, so here goes the salmon. I put it in the air fryer for about like 15 minutes, added some butter on it. I made some vegetable fried rice, and I'm gonna have some peri peri sauce with it. But the salmon looks really, really good, guys. I used that salmon rub from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna eat pieces of it and then save the other for rest of it for tomorrow. But this looks really, really good. All right, guys, so it's a beautiful day at NYC today. It's like 76 degrees. I'm actually on my way to Harlem because I figured I might as well go. It's only gonna take me about 36 minutes to get to Harlem. So I'm gonna make it into a little day thing. I need to go to Target and get all the toiletries because my bag is partially packed, guys. So, you know, I'm about ready. Oh my God, they built this building so fast. This apartment building was not here like last week. Maybe because it was blocked up. Oh, and it's beautiful, but I'm out of here. So as I was leaving my building, um, I was on the elevator with another girl, and she went downstairs to meet somebody that was waiting for her downstairs at the building. And as I'm walking through, and they're like mid in the midst of a conversation, and she goes, hey, I know you. So she recognized me. I thought that was so cool. I wasn't trying to run away from you real quick, but I knew you were in deep conversation with your friend. So yes, it's me. Hi, I said hi to you, but I didn't want you to think I was running away from you because I thought you guys were having a deep conversation, but hey to you i swear i meet people every single day in new york city i get stopped often and i love it out here i'm actually gonna that's one part of new york city or part of living here that i'm gonna miss it's just knowing that i have like a lot of supporters and followers out here that actually rock with me and that shit is so fucking cool so shout out to you like i said i wasn't trying to i wasn't trying to run away too quick but i saw you miss miss in your conversation so i was trying to let you have your moment with your girl but you'll see me around the building i don't think you live there i don't think you live in my building but your friend does so that was really awesome i was like yeah it's me <laughs> that was really fucking cool so like i said guys i'm on my way this wig i just installed i'm gonna leave this wig on for a few days i'm contemplating if i want to like leave it on see how it does for a few days and then take it off and reinstall it for my trip y'all know it'd be too hot on these caribbean islands so i'm kind of like iffy like i'm about like a I'm about like a 50% iffy with it. I do have a closure that's a closure wig that's glueless. That I think that's gonna be the wig I'm wearing because it's really easy. It's not as long as this one. The one the closure wig is about 20 inches long, but it looks. Really so like I was saying before, the camera decided to cut me the hell off. Yeah, I'm on my way to Target right now. Let's go get this little shop shop in. Pick up these toiletries, and my bag, like I said, is about. Oh no, I wasn't even talking. About let me let me let's just start this over again. <laughs> so like I said I'm about like a 50% thinking I'm wearing this wig but I'm most likely gonna, I don't know why you didn't go I'm going I don't I don't care you acted stupid use your brain anyways dumbass don't know how to drive no skills anyways like I said I don't know if I want I'm not going away Caribbean islands and glue and when it's like and I already checked the temperature of where I'm going where I'm going is literally 84 degrees 84 83 ain't nobody got time for that so it's gonna be a glueless wig i got two glueless wigs i got one glueless straight wig that i'm bringing and i'm gonna bring my glueless curly wig i think for the going there i'm gonna wear the glueless straight wig i think i might just because it's, it looks just so nice and natural look like my hair got blown out y'all know the one from here vv.com got little highlights in it and it would look nice for the first dinner outfit that night because the first day we're not swimming or anything you know what i'm gonna do that so the first two days we're not really do anything the excursion start yeah i'm gonna wear the straight unit the glue straight unit there i'm gonna do a hard spray on it the day before and then once it pops up it pops up it don't even matter and then i'm gonna put the curly one on for the last two days of the trip obviously my hair is gonna change i really don't care i do this all the time when i go on trips i switch wigs the people at the resorts be looking at me like bitch what yeah yeah <laughs> So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And when I'm going on my trip in June, I think I'm gonna get braids. Or like, I think I'm gonna get goddess braids for that one. Even though my forehead is ginormous, I always just sweep my hair to the side when my forehead is ginormous. Or I might actually get like a little bit of a lace strip put in so then they could just braid on top of the lace. You can do that too, come on. And that's easy to make, um, that's easy maintenance because it's only a strip. It's not like you're holding down a whole wig. Once you, once that, once that wig lives, the whole wig gotta come off. Like once that little strip is, I pop it off and just do my little sweep with my braids. So yeah, I think I'm getting braids in June because I'm not trying to tussle in that type of. I'm not trying to tussle where I'm going at because it's gonna be way too hot in June, like 90 degrees. Like nah. So yeah, but I love this hair though. It's fire. No makeup day today. Natural. All I do is when I'm going like no natural, 
well, no make no natural when I'm going natural I just um, put like two dot like wherever the little dark marks are here I just cover it up a little bit with some concealer that's it I don't put foundation on my face I don't put mascara no nothing just moisturizer and just cover up the little dark spots and keep it pushing cross the street then oh they cute though hold hands young and then left be safe out here yeah. be safe you gonna cross the street and get I have a few cute things in here. I don't know if I like this color. This is cute with the underline. I'm gonna try this one. For five dollars, no. Alright guys, so I picked up some toiletries. These are the toiletries I have. I have like soap and stuff like that. Toothbrush and toothpaste. So I didn't pick those up. So I got some wipes. I got some Cetaphil um, face wash. I also got some of this Boost. I said Boost. Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection Sunscreen. 70 um, SPF. So I was like, let me grab this one. I also have another one that I'm going to squeeze into a bottle. And Dan brought some as well. I got this hand sanitizer I'm going to put in my bag. I got this spray on deodorant. This one is 48 hours. That's the only one they had, so I just got it. Makeup remover wipes. I also got some individual lashes. So I went to the beauty supply store. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try these out today. So I'm going to attempt them, see what they give, and see if I like them for a few days. If they're not rocking, I'm going to take them off. But I'm going to just try them today and see if I could do individual lashes. I just feel like when you first put lashes on, it's just like a dark cloud over your eyes. You just look like really raccoon eye in the beginning. So I'm going to do it tonight and try to adjust to it for the next few days and see what I what you know, see how I'm feeling. And then see if when I apply shadow and stuff, how what it's giving. But this will be my first try. I'm going to attempt it alone and see what I can do. So I got the INV uh, waterproof lash glue. So wish me luck. <laughs> I'm not even going to film because I, I, that's too much stress. So let me just test it out and then see. But this is what I got. I also pick up that Caesar mix salad. I put it in the fridge. And I also got the Green Goddess dressing as well from, Trader, from Target. So... That's what I'm going to have tonight for Din Din.
all right guys so i pretty much got all not all of it i'm gonna just obviously it's a lot of stuff in here but i just wanted to have options so i pretty much fill that side up i don't feel like it's necessary for me to overload it on that side since i'm pretty much have everything that i need on that side it's a lot of swimwear a lot of toiletries and on this side i wanted to load up my bags and my shoes and stuff like that so i'm putting one more outfit in here and I'm contemplating on a few things, but I think for the most part, I think I'm done here. I'm going to add a few other bags that I want to bring, like one of my going out bags, my gold bag. And other than that, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm also going to put my tripod stick in here now because I have two. So I'm going to put one of them in here so I can pre-have it in here so I don't have to worry about that later. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? So it is another day today. I'm actually on my way right now to go meet up with the ladies because we're going to have like a little wine down day. It is 82 degrees in Connecticut right now. So, um, yeah. So last night, y'all, let me tell you how I try to put them lashes on. So <clears throat> let me tell you guys, the lashes did not agree with me. The My eyes immediately like started to bother me. Like my my basically, basically my eyes rejected my contact lenses because I felt like my eye, my contacts were getting irritated by the glue. Like, I don't know what it was, but my eyes just were not selling it. So I had to take my contact lenses out earlier today while I was driving. Well, I stopped and took them out. I think, thankfully, I knew something was going to give me some issues. So I brought my glasses with me. So, you know, I did a beat face with the glasses look today, which I absolutely love. I feel like glasses are definitely a thing. Like, you could do really nice makeup looks with glasses. So I definitely think, like, the look still came out together today really cute with the glasses on i had lashes on on top because after i've and let me tell you i shouldn't have yanked the lashes out like that should have soaked them off so i feel like i still have some residual glue on my eyes that's irritating me so when i get to the house i'm gonna just use some castor oil and like kind of like soak my lashes up a little bit and try to clean them off like that and then i'm gonna just do like a really good rinse with my eyes and then wake up tomorrow hopefully it's fine because i got a trip to go on like this is a huge inconvenience right now like so but anyways, yeah, my eyes are definitely red. Look, they're not red, red, but they're, you know, they're at odds right now. So I want to get that taken care of. It looks like I'm going to be like seven minutes late. Ugh, I have to move the reservation to the 630. So hopefully they're not too upset, but I feel like I can cut the time down. You know, Connecticut drivers is real aggy, so. <laughs> I'll take a shot, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the pizza looks good. Oh, wow. Oh, it is nice out here, too. Oh, they did have outdoor seats. Wasn't nobody sitting outside? I don't know. Oh, my God, it's pretty in there. Right. What's the? This is the perfect weather. Yeah, and graffiti going on. Mm -hmm. It's a mural. It's not graffiti. Graffiti. <laughs> this is a you okay? All right, guys, it's been a while since I've been on the camera. I haven't talked to you guys. I haven't put up a vlog in like two weeks. So this week, you guys will get two vlogs, one on Friday, which is the Barbados vlog. And this vlog right here will be combined with two weeks of content. It'll be this week, oh, the last week before I left on the trip, and it'll also be a little bit of this week. I'm filming right now on a Thursday. I have therapy session today at 1. I haven't had therapy in... I didn't have therapy last week, so this is me coming off a week of not therapy, and I have so much to tell her. I had an amazing trip, guys. When I tell you guys that that trip was such a great trip, this is the first trip ever, and I'm, I'm going to say this to be completely honest. I felt like on the other trips, I was very problematic. Like When I went to Thailand, I exploded on my friends, but I was it was because I was carrying a lot of emotional baggage and stuff like that. I feel like, yeah. So this trip was such a great trip. I didn't get over, I didn't even get drunk on this trip, even though it's all inclusive. I kind of learned my lessons from that. All inclusive drinks be just too much sometimes. It really gets you fucked up. So this was a very chill ass trip with a lot of adventure and a lot of fun. And I did not cry on this trip. 
like I'm saying that and giving myself a pat on the back because you guys don't understand in the last few years I've constantly gone on trips with my friends and family and stuff like that and always had like these little moments of crying and I really feel like the reason why I did that a lot of the times um, when I was on those trips is because I kind of didn't want to go back home and I was just really like you know when you're really unhappy and I never shared any things with my, uh, I didn't really share a lot with my friends and family around that time about what I was going through at home with the person I was dealing with. So I felt like I would just have like these burst out moments of crying and stuff like that in front of my friends on trips and stuff like that or explode. This is the first time ever that I've gone on a trip and I haven't, I had a good time. And I'm only saying that because even when I went on th to Thailand, Ta even Carousel, I had a really good time in, in Carousel, if you guys watch. I think I, like, I almost cried a little bit just because I was very happy. But it's new now. Like, like I just feel so much better with my life. And I'm, I, like, I'm always reflecting back. Like, I was in a dark place. <laughs> and now, like, I just, like, I'm just enjoying everything. I'm like not stressed when I come back home like I come back home to an empty house but it's just me and I'm happy yo it's just like such a different life for me um, I just had a really really good time in Barbados guys it was a really refreshing trip um, I went with Dan and it was such a good time together uh, I have a trip coming up next week on Saturday I'm leaving again for like four nights I believe it is or three nights and it's another place I haven't been to, which is also super exciting, but it's also hot there too. So I can't wait to show you guys um, that place. And then I have a wedding at the end of the month. And then the month late, <laughs> June, the second week of June, I'm going away again. So, and then July again. It's it's a crazy ass, a few, um, it's going to be a crazy next couple of months. The entire summer, I have a trip planned uh, every month coming up. So it's going to be really, really fun. But I just want to say like, I'm doing so good guys like I'm in such a good place and I feel like it's because I'm actually living the life that I want to live so it makes a huge difference like I don't feel like I'm being dragged down I don't I'm able to make my own decisions and just I'm living the life that I want to live and I'm just so happy like it's less complicated no drama and just being myself and being happy so it's a really good feeling guys i know i'm always crying on here but it is what it is so yesterday i walked into some drama let me tell you guys something social media has gotten increasingly like messy or very weird like y'all know i've been doing this for a long time so it's kind of like now i feel like people are just really just doing the most on the internet so yesterday i got like a couple of dms and then i got a, a comment that popped up in my just comments on a random picture I posted on Instagram and then people were talking about how there was a picture that was posted on Shein's website mind you I don't work for Shein and I understand you guys I'm like well a lot of companies use your video your pictures and I understand that but I've been a hair influencer for years so majority of the hair companies that actually use my photo I've actually worked with them so I understand that people steal photos and stuff like that you know put your watermark on it that doesn't matter they're still gonna crop that part out and still use the photo right so that's exactly why if you guys look at my Instagram now I do not post up selfies anymore and tag hair companies I'll either do like a reel or something because it's harder to snatch it from a reel you get what I mean so that's why I do not do like solo pictures anymore because people will steal the pictures and just fake it off so if you look at my Instagram I have basically stopped doing that on purpose um, and I used to do it years and years ago I used to just post like slides and uh, like photo dump of just the hairstyle and stuff like that but I no longer do that because I realize that people are stealing pictures so I'm trying to figure out, Shein, is what the fuck is this? This is not my face. What the fuck is this? So this is the original photo that I took. So why? Why, Shein? Why? Do me a favor and remove the fucking photo. So, Shein, I haven't worked with Shein in years, and I've never done hair videos for Shein. Shein is such a money-hungry company that now they are entering the hair, the hair category, which is, that's none of my business. But my business is, why would you steal a photo off of my Instagram, fake it off as if that's the hair? First of all, the hair has nothing to do with the clippings. They're not even clippings. And then what they did was they, create, they took the picture, my original picture, and morphed me into a Caucasian woman. Why the fuck would you do that? 
Like, and let me tell you something. I don't shop on Shein, but can we just can we just step to the side real quick and pay attention to what they're doing? They don't even fuck with us. They literally took a picture that was bomb AF and turned me into a Caucasian Kardashian. The disrespect I felt from that, like y'all could like. I think that's the part that triggered me the most, the, the, the lack of respect, the racism, and the colorism. Like, why would y'all fucking do that shit to my picture? Why? And then on top of that, y'all stole my shit and then went and distorted my content. My content? My content? Oh, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got all the money in the world. Y'all ripping everybody. I've got all these, all these black girls buying y'all clothes up and stuff like that. But y'all have no respect for black people. There's not one black person on any of your platforms. Not even on Instagram. Not even on TikTok. Y'all feature zero black people. And that's why exactly why I tell y'all, stop shopping on that website. They only want to profit off you guys because of y'all money. And y'all, I'm going to, you know, we are so gullible to buy that cheap stuff. And be excited to shop with Shein and be a Shein girl. But baby... They don't like us. They turned my black ass into a whole freaking Caucasian Kardashian. And I'm like, bro, you want to use my body? You want to use my hairstyle? I guess you didn't want to use my face just to profit off of me? All right. So guess what? I actually posted the video on TikTok. Both videos went viral in less than 24 hours. One of the videos almost at a million views. The other videos at like almost 400K views. So I let TikTok... And every, all my supporters go ahead and ring it along because I'm not out here playing. I even contacted Shein to try to see if they could just remove the picture because it's not, take the picture down. I want it down. It's insulting and it's disrespectful. I'm still waiting for a response from them, but I'm just going to handle it on my end because I figured out what I need to do. So I'm going to take care of my end. This will be the last time I talk about that until I get some results from this because I cannot believe that they fucking try me like that. Like y'all really going to try me? Y'all could have picked anybody else. And I even went on TikTok to see if anyone else's pictures were photoshopped. Yo, they completely took my photo and turned me into a Caucasian woman. You better count your fucking days, y'all. Like, social media is not what it used to be. Like, it literally is... Like, I understand that people are like, oh, well, you... S First of all, the video, the picture has nothing to do with Shein. The dress that was on the picture was from Zara. The hair was from a Steri hair company. So, nothing... There was nothing promo... Like, I'm not even promoting hair for y'all. Why the fuck would y'all steal my shit? The, like I said, I'm not gonna bring this up again. Because I got... I'm getting shit handled on the other end. So, I just want to put that out there. Be careful with your stuff. And at the same time, I keep telling y'all, stop shopping at Shein. They don't like you. They don't. All right, guys. So I am in the car right now. I'm actually in Manhattan right now. I have to run a few errands or whatever. So I did get cute whatever put a new wig on. This hair video, I was able to finish this hair video today so quick. I already edited the video. So what I'm going to do today is go ahead and put this hair video up later when I get home just because it's already completed. So I might as well. I'm trying to run through the videos that I got to do, be on time with everything. This is my last wig. I have some more wigs coming in next week. So I got like a little bit of a break. So I was happy that I finished all the hair reviews that I needed for the month. The month ends on... On Sunday so I was able to complete all of my work the last video I need to put up for this month is the this vlog that I'm you know yapping flapping my gums with now so I will put this vlog up on Sunday and I'll be caught up so I'm really happy about that May 1st will start off the vlog the weekly vlog up and I'll be caught up and on time for at least a weekly vlog every week for four times a month if I have something extra because I am traveling I'll add that extra vlog and so next month you guys will get fly five, five vlogs and yeah so I'm in a good I'm in good spirits today. My therapy session was amazing. Just a lot of clarity in my mind. I'm still working on a lot of stuff and I'm doing really well. So it's just I'm just like really really happy um, when I came back from my trip I had a really good time um, I actually got picked up from the airport and then I spent the weekend with my boo so it was really really nice um, I don't know it's just nice I feel like I don't know there's this quote that went up and it was like my love language is airport pickups and it's so ironic that I posted that up like a few like a week before I left but it definitely is my love language I got picked up we spent the weekend together we went to the movies we went out to um, we went out on Friday in Connecticut and then we also went out on Saturday um, in the no, Friday we went out in the city and then we went to visit some friends in Connecticut and uh, we went out to Connecticut on um, what day is that on Saturday 
So it's been a really, really good week, y'all. Really, really having a grand old time. What the hell's going on? Yeah, so it's been a really, really good week. Um, my love life is going as planned. <laughs> I'm just really, really in a good place. Really enjoying everything that's happening. Like I said, this is all new to me. This this uh, dating um, and uh, uh, being with someone is uh, it's new to me because it's healthy. So I'm still just trying to navigate things, but I'm much, much better. Like I told you guys before, I am so relaxed now. Like, um, like my anxiety is like, I'm really settled and comfortable. And I don't explain when you're comfortable around somebody and the vibes are there and the person's treating you right, you kind of like resting your femininity so I'm just chilling um, yeah it's really not a problematic situation like I said you I'm, I'm I'm just living in the moment I can't really predict what the future holds or whatever but I'm pretty sure what the future is gonna hold for me cuz you know so yeah it's really nice guys and I'm just vibing out you guys can tell like my trip was amazing like I mentioned to you guys before a really really nice trip um, if I did not mention to you guys I am going away um, next next weekend so i guess next weekend you can call it a little a little vacation or whatever because my boo set a little something up you know and it was so crazy because i was in barbados when it was bought up and i'm like for real like we going here like you really want to go here so you know i guess this will be my first like official official vacation because the other vacations I went on were just trips that somebody wanted to experience they gave zero fucks about me on that trip they literally just going there to get a uh, stamp on their passport like they could they paid absolutely zero attention to me on the trips I went on so um, this might be my first time experiencing what it's really like to go on a, a trip with somebody and have a romantic well not this is not the first time I don't think I told y'all <laughs> Y'all, when I went to Vegas and I was in Denver, I was with my boo. <laughs> and then when I went to Disney, I was with my boo. Like, my honey likes to travel. Like, so we have like the same, you know? So yeah, I kept those little secrets from y'all, but y'all be nosy anyways. So, and some of y'all peeped it anyways. I was never by myself, girl. <laughs> I was getting flown. <laughs> So yeah, and that's one thing I love. I love someone that likes to do the things that I like to do. We don't gotta do the same things all the time, but I love somebody that likes to travel. And you know, it's nice. Where the fuck is this GPS taking me to? I'm just trying to pick up my POPOA. So that's what I got for dinner. I got some Peruvian food. Why is the GPS trying to play with me? Oh, I went the wrong way. Damn, Dom. Donnell! How can I go the wrong way when this is a one way? Damn, I'm real Haitian for that. All right, let's see where this is gonna take me. All right, guys, let me get my food. Well, first, let me find out where the F I'm going. And, oh, no, I'm, I'm in the right area. Why would the GPS play me like that? All right, guys, so I am in Connecticut. I kind of had a quick day today, so I kind of had to leave the house, do everything I need to do. I picked up some patties and some bread for my mom. So I'm actually at the skincare studio because I have a micro needling appointment today. So I came out with no makeup on, on natural. I do have like a few little pimples coming up right here, but she's gonna probably pop these first and then do the micro needling. Oh, but the micro needling actually works to kind of pop them anyways, but it is what it is. I have uh, one of those little uh, pre-cut lace wigs on today. This one is from Eunice Hair company if you watched the review i did up yesterday i was talking about in that hair review that i was gonna wear that wig on a trip i'm definitely bringing these wigs on trips like when i'm telling you guys these are effortless ass wigs like all that gunky glue shit is not necessary with these wigs and you can still wear these nice styles on like a hot tropical trip because you don't really have to worry about slide back or anything like that because you're not gluing the wig down so i'm gonna bring this on my next coming up trip which is next weekend so you guys will see that the vlog i decided to take a break today because i've been really busy i was really stressed um shein actually went ahead and deleted the photo and they responded back to the video the video has like a hundred oh, hundred the video got 1.2 million views in a day i don't even know how many views is that now but it's probably up like in the one somethings and i'm like damn tiktok you can't ban tiktok at this point bro like when i tell you people really 
really push the agenda on TikTok for you if there's an issue. And she and their little fake ass apology or whatever, it is what it is. But like I said, I wanted my shit to be taken the fuck down. Like never disrespect me like that again. So it was taken care of within 24 hours. So I was like, all right, you know, TikTok, honestly, they want to ban it, but when it comes to getting things done on TikTok, like protesting against things, oh, when you got an army behind you, it's handled on TikTok, okay? So thank you to everyone that reposted that video. Yo, both of my videos went viral. I'm like, bro, like quickly. Like, so when there's an agenda to me, people get to it. And like I said, I don't recommend, I don't even work with Shein, so y'all know. Like, the shit that they be doing, like, why would you Photoshop me into a Caucasian woman? Like, like they don't fuck with us like period so whatever i'm happy that's over with so i was really stressed out the day before when i found out that the shit was up so it just stressed me out that entire day yesterday was i got the good news that it was taken down and all that kind of stuff so i was over that so i figured that i'll just take a few days like two days off just to kind of you know even though i'm filming at the same time so i'm kind of vlogging anyways and still working but i decided just to chill out for a few days today i'm gonna hang out with my boo um <clears throat> and i have a few errands i have to run and stuff to do so that's what i'm basically doing um for today but we're gonna go ahead and do a little skincare treatment i think i'm gonna bring my camera inside just to show you guys the office the office looks nice i think i showed it to you guys last time but the office looks really nice now like she switched buildings so the next the building over is really nice that's the building she took so i'll probably show you guys a little sun and, and yeah so this is the before i'm gonna be red as a tomato when i get out mm. i love her hair